Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic. Back to you again with another reading. This time it's on the Royals again. Where is Kate Middleton? So there has been a ton of rumors online about where Kate Middleton is, what's going on. Is she hiding something? Are the Royals hiding, hiding something? Is it something? Are they covering up something? There's a giant conspiracy theory about where is Kate Middleton. So the Royals have put out a statement saying that she had surgery and she'd be sort of radio silent until Easter, but everyone's just going wild with their conspiracy. So I'm here to see if I can maybe potentially find out what's going on, where she is, and if there's something deeper or more crazy going on. So I will link my last royal reading up here. Remember these readings are all legit for interpreters only. And let's get started. <clears throat> also, please remember, if you like these, you can join my YouTube members. There's a $5, $10, $15 tier. You get access to exclusive figure cards, exclusive story times. I just uploaded an exclusive vlog. Um, and you can win a reading for me. Also, I have a second channel called Amphrodite T, T-E-A, where I vlog and talk about real stuff. So non-tarot content, if you're interested. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I want to see where what's going on okay huh wait a minute i'm confused hold on why are there regrets huh y'all something's going on something is fishy here Something is really fishy here. Okay, so the Ace of Swords is a regret. So there's some form of regret. The Ten of Cups, that's like um, a separation from family or, you know, a regret with our happily ever after. And the Hierophant is like a marriage or commitment. So sometimes that could be some sort of regrets in terms of our family or our, our marriage. Other times there's like missed opportunities, but something's going on. Now, when I've read for her and her husband, she's with uh, William, right? Girl, the way I don't remember the Royals T at all. I don't remember their names. Last time I read her relationship, it looked more like, you know, they're doing things because they have to, right? Not necessarily. Um, I mean, it's not. it didn't look like a terrible relationship, but it looked like one of those one that's like, you know, it sort of evolved into a partnership more so than anything. Right? So I'm a little bit confused about this because it does look like there is some sort of disconnect between her and him. The death card is a is a, a forced rebirth. The five of swords is about small little details and issues. And the justice card says what's fair is fair. It's also about potential legal issues and things. I didn't really check all the rumors. I just know that there's been a lot of rumors swirling. But... Is she, I feel like she's hiding something. Yeah, Emperor Reverse, Six of Pentacles, and Nine of Cups Reverse. I'm confused. I did not expect this. The Six of Pentacles is consistency and accountability, and the Nine of Cups is reversed, which is like not getting what I want. And the Emperor is about losing control. It's also her husband, feeling like he's out of control. Does she, does she have like anxiety or anything like that? Has she ever checked into like an anxiety clinic or anything like that? Because I feel like there were talks about her potentially going to some sort of like wellness center or something like that. There's some sort of weird, all ledger for interpreters only. This is all ledger for interpreters only. No facts here, all opinions, okay? Don't sue me. But it seems like there's some sort of like, you need to rest, like you need to break this habit. You're in a cycle. I'm like confused. Mm. King of Wands, Two of Wands, and the Moon. The Moon is about lies, deceit, deception. The Two of Wands is friction between two people and the King of Wands as well. Um, is about sort of chasing something. So there's definitely something... I see her chasing something in secret and doing something in secret. What the fuck is this, dude? Uh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. It's the truth, though. Whenever I burp, it's like usually a sign. But I'm confused because 
What are you hiding? Now, I mean, two of wands and king of wands. I mean, sometimes two of wands is sex and the moon. I mean, that could be it. I mean, are there rumors of infidelity? I mean, I guess I don't really. I mean, their relationship is more of a partnership. So, I mean, if they both stepped out, it wouldn't even shock me. And I think they would have an agreement anyway. So I don't really think that's tea. Maybe it is. But I'm not sure if that's what that even means because the two of wands. Hold on. Three of Wands, Seven of Wands, and the Hangman reversed. Hmm. Not wanting to let go, having to prove myself, Three of Wands. There's definitely somebody who's like a bad influence around her. That's why I'm like, okay, their marriage is definitely a partnership, right? And so like I said before, if there was stepping out or anything like that, they have an arrangement, okay, in my opinion. Um, because I don't actually see anybody angry or frustrated. I see it more just like if something were to get out, I told you to be discreet. That's kind of the T. And I feel like it's one of those things where it kind of goes both ways with both of them. Allegedly for interpreters only. That's kind of the vibe that I see. Um, I mean, uh, this doesn't really shock me anyways. I mean, if they had an open relationship and it was like secret open, I mean, whatever. I've seen so many relationships like that. But it's more along the lines of like a temptation. There's some sort of temptation... And like forbidden fruit. And I, I don't want this to be like a bash Kate fest because girl, she's not the only one, okay? I think their relationship is unique, okay? I like their relationship because it seems like the two of them know what they need to do. But I don't think it's a conventional relationship. But what's interesting here is with the three of wands, there's someone here who's like temptation and bad, bad energy. Yeah, look at this. I want you separated from that person because they're a bad influence. They get you to do things you shouldn't do. They get you to act the way you shouldn't act. Like, they're a really bad influence. They, you know what's interesting is I did not expect Kate to have a rebellious side. I did not expect Kate to be a little mischievous. This was not something I would have expected, but she has a little mischievous side to her, and I kind of like it. I think she's a lot more interesting. I think the image that I'm always seeing her being portrayed as, and obviously I don't follow the royals really like that, so my knowledge is extremely limited. But I see her as like the prim and proper, perfect person, but behind closed doors, she's anything but. Um, didn't you guys tell me that her husband, he's William, right? Oh, the way I can't remember. Didn't, didn't he have like a wild child pass? So does she. I think they're both kind of wild and, and a little freaky, so... That really doesn't shock me. I just think you probably wouldn't realize that off the bat. It seems like it's uh, it's deeper under the surface. But I... <sighs> okay, I can't really figure out what's going on. I know you guys are going to be mad at me. But what I can say is it reminds me of like if someone was like, let's say someone's a party girl and she's just been partying too hard. And it's like, all right, like you need to reel it in. That's kind of the vibe. Now, I'm not sure if that's really translating directly um it's more just like bad influence um i also see her stressed out and kind of at her wits end definitely struggling with some sort of anxiety or stress um and maybe it's depression or something i don't know but like there's definitely some sort of like she has a vice because i see someone like smoking a cigarette so to me that indicates some sort of vice uh three of wands reverse world upright in the four cups i'm not sure if the i can't tell you whether or not she actually had a procedure done or not i don't know i don't care it's irrelevant to me um but the three of cups being reversed the world upright in the four cups tells me that she feels very isolated and that she doesn't have any true friends and she feels um, a little frustrated how controlled her life is so as she gets older and more responsibilities put on her shoulders more pressure is put on her shoulders she's starting to crack that perfectionism, like perfectionist inside of her is starting to, to crack. And so I definitely see her struggling here. I also see, um, I also see someone. I see someone kind of not necessarily threatening her, but I do see someone being like, oh, I don't like you. And any ammunition I have to use against you, I will. Um, Two of Pentacles reverse, Lovers card upright, and Tower. The media is gunning for her relationship. A lot of skeletons, a lot of skeletons in her closet and in their closet in terms of their relationship is going to start to crack. You're going to see the crack in the foundation of their relationship. Um, 
lots of rumors are going to swirl. They're trying to hide this. They're trying to push this down. I guess probably because he might be the successor to the throne, right? Uh, but you're going to start to see a little bit of a of a of a reconstructing of their relationship. Um, they might have to lay it on thick. You might see more public postings and stuff like that. They might have to like sort of do PR damage control because it does look like a lot of it is just the fact that I don't believe they have. Here's the thing: I don't believe their relationship is horrible. Um, to me, it seems like it seems fine for what it is. I just you're not gonna get me to buy that they have normal rules. And to be honest with you, do you expect a fucking royal to have a normal relationship? Like, come on, dude. Like, no. That amount of responsibility, I'm sure they they have their own rules, especially when they've been together for so long. They have kids. Like, whatever. Um, there's still a lot of respect between the two of them, a lot of love. But it, like I said, it's more of a partnership to me uh, these days. Now, King of Swords is upright, Ten of Wands reversed, and Five of Cups reversed. Um I, I think her husband's super worried about her. That's all I'm seeing is, like, he's panicked over her. That's literally all I see, like, literally panicked over her. So there's something else going on. I'm not sure if it's in addition to the procedure she's having done. I'm not sure if it's a cover-up. Um, it wouldn't shock me if this is in addition. Um, and they kind of just were like, oh, this is the perfect time to kind of do what, we, what we've been wanting to do anyways. It's, like, the perfect excuse. It's kind of the vibe that it's giving me. Um... But, I mean, hey, I uh, I like her energy. I just think that she needs to reel it in a little bit. It seems like she's starting to crack, uh, which, you know, I feel sorry for her. I mean, the amount of pressure they're probably under with all of, like, you know, sort of the things that are going on in that family, it's probably not easy. Um, I do think she needs a friend, though. You know what? She might find a friend in the most strange place. Yeah, Magician reversed. Ten of Pentacles reverse and Eight of Cups reverse. She wants to talk. She wants more of a voice. And I think she's going to try and figure out a way to have more of a voice. Because what I'm seeing is like if someone were to make like a TikTok, and I'm not saying she's making TikToks, what I'm, what that, but what that translates to is like I want more of a voice for myself. I want people to be more familiar with me. I want people to hear the truth. She wants more transparency, and they do not like that. So there's like a little disconnect there. So... I don't know if this video helped. I don't know if this video was good or bad. I, I did my best. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed the tea. If you did, make sure you follow me, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Amphrodite. Subscribe down below. Uh, join my second YouTube channel, Amphrodite T, T E A. And uh, join the memberships, okay? $5, $10, $15 tier. There's a join button down below. Until next time. Bye, guys.